What's up guys, Dr. Sammy here, and today we're gonna to talk about the basics of crown preparation design. So crown preparation design ultimately depends on a variety of factors, including the stump shade, the type of material being used, whether we're in an aesthetic or non-aesthetic zone of the mouth, the structural integrity of the tooth, and much, much more. But today I wanna to focus on the basics. For any crown preparation, you need to establish depth cuts in order to create the appropriate reduction for whatever material you choose to use. And I wanna show you how that looks. Check it out. Another critically important step involves interproximal reduction. This is a super technique sensitive step, but if you understand the interproximal contours of the tooth and use a thin flame shaped diamond, you'll be able to get through the step with ease. Check it out. Understanding where to place margins can be a challenging task. Personally, I like to place my margins slightly subgingival in order to eliminate the visual interface between natural tooth and crown. So currently, I have the margins prepared in an equigingival fashion. I achieve subgingival margins by packing a cord circumferentially around the tooth and re-preparing my margin to the level of that cord. This can be a very challenging step. So those are the basic steps for any crown preparation design. I'm still debating whether to make this a series where I dive into the specifics of particular crown preparations, looking at which burrs to use, which reduction, etc, etc. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think that's a good idea or if that's something that you would like to see. I had a great time making this video. If you guys have any ideas for any other videos in the future, please let me know and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.